G'day folks, Peter Young for Fishing Monthly Magazines and I'm with Simon Ryan from Boats and More in Shepparton and Chuka. And Simon, Clark Boat Tests, we've done a lot of them over the years. And I guess today we're revisiting one from several years ago. Um, it's the Clark Cod Catcher 410 or the 410 Cod Catcher, somewhere along those lines. I guess back then we're at Lake Mowala. Today we're at the Goulburn River with Nagambi Lakes just over there. Tell us a little bit about how, why we're revisiting it and I guess how this boat develops over the years. Yeah, sure, Pete. So um, the boat itself obviously um, wasn't in Clark's lineup originally. Uh, we had customer feedback that they were looking for a small um, estuary river boat, obviously to suit our, our waterways down here in Victoria, chasing the cod and yellow belly, that sort of stuff. So obviously Golden River, Broken River, that sort of stuff, um, Mulwala, um, you know, the Murray, all that sort of thing. So um, through that feedback, we worked with Clark a few years ago to develop this um, package, and, and since then it's been... Um, a revelation for us. We've sold plenty of the boats and, and the guys that have got them really love them because they're a nice compact package that, that can get you on the water um, into those nice little tight spots where cod and yellow belly like to hang out. Well and truly so I guess maybe we take a step back. Clark Boats, Queensland brand, you just want to give us a little bit of Clark 101. Yeah, so Clark obviously is a smaller aluminium um, boat manufacturer up in Queensland, um, which obviously gave us the ability to, to talk with them and work with them um, quite closely to develop this boat. Because as I said, it wasn't it wasn't in their lineup, but we sort of said we've got demand for this size boat um, in our area. C can we work together to, to develop something? And what we've come up with with the 410 Cod Catchers certainly hit the mark, and, and we sell plenty of the boats, and plenty of people are very happy with the little packages. All right, so let's take us through some of the fundamentals. Uh, Dumbia trailer, what are we using, and, and why? So being a 410 cod catcher, we've set this uh, up on a uh, Dumbia 4.3 Sports, which is just a standard um, boat trailer that you'll find under most 4 metre to 4.3 metre boats you know, across Australia. So that's basically just a standard setup, um, flip up jockey wheel, 13 inch wheels, LED lights, the standard sort of stuff that, that you want on a, on a good reliable boat trailer. All right, and, and, and I guess it's not a huge boat, what, what would people need to get this around the country? Oh, this sort of a boat, you know, a standard sedan will pull this without any any drama whatsoever. If you've got a bigger car, that's fine. But yeah, a standard small car, we'll soon pull it around um, without any issues whatsoever. All right, so let's head back to the uh, the Suzuki at the back. What's on here and, and is it the maximum horsepower? What can be put on this boat? So the max horsepower on this boat um, is a 40 horsepower. So obviously we've set this one up with a, a DF40 ATL, so a Suzuki. Um, but obviously Mercury and all the other brands obviously offer you know that horsepower in a four-stroke range. Um, originally back when we did the original test, we had the option of two-stroke, but as we all know, emission laws have been passed now, so we don't have that option now. So it obviously has tailored that back to um, you know the four-stroke option only. Um, obviously, so that's why we've sort of gone to that max horsepower. So we've got that amount of power there to also push up if you've got two and three in the boat. So, yeah. I guess the one thing we've got today is I noticed on the front it said it's a special edition. So I guess that means it's got a few things that maybe the standard package doesn't have. So take us through what they are. Well, the main thing, obviously, I'm not sure if the viewers can see, but it's got this beautiful wrap on the side, which obviously we've got, um, you know, the cod and the yellow belly there. So that obviously sets it up pretty well. Um, with this you know the special edition stuff we obviously like to run obviously max horsepower um, in a four stroke whether that's Mercury um, or Suzuki which we've set this one up um, or you could also run an Evinrude uh, E-Tech 40 out of a Chuka store as well if that's what you want to do so um, as well as a, a you know a good sounder so not top of the range but certainly something that's got side view and down view that sort of thing on it as well as an electric motor on the front obviously today we've set this one up with a Garmin Striker 7 um, and a Ming Coda uh, 55 pound 48 inch just to uh, with the eye pilot on the front to to be able to obviously navigate in around the snags to chase the uh, the cod and the yellow belly. No, it, it certainly looks the part. So give us an idea as the package as we're testing it today what sort of price it would be and I guess what a base package would be just with a standard boat and, and I guess the 40 horsepower on the back. Yeah, so with, with this particular setup, you, you're coming in just under around that $30,000 mark with obviously everything on the boat. Um, they're coming in now obviously with the 44 strokes and stuff in that mid-20s range, so that 25 to 26, depending on whether you want a bimini and boat cover, what other options that you may want in the package. But they're certainly in that 25, 26 area um, on the water, ready to go um, fishing, you know. Well and truly. So I know people will, not, will want to know how to contact you and the best way to do that. So just take us through your contact information and, and where they can get hold of you. Yeah, so obviously like everyone now, websites probably the main thing that people like to go to. So obviously our website's just boatsandmore.com.au um, or if you want to give us a call on the phone, uh, the Shep store is 0358 222 
108 or the Echuca store is 0354 821 992. As well, I'm sure you'll get a few phone calls. I know this much, I don't know about you, but I'm itching to jump in this and just to see, I guess, how different it is. I'm sure it's a little bit different, but not too much. It was pretty good the first time around, so let's take this out and show you what it's all about. So there you go folks, the Clark 410 Cod Catcher, the special edition that Boats and More have put together. Let's go straight into performance figures, ultimately the, uh, the Suzuki 4-stroke. I've got to say from the very first test that we did with a Suzuki 2-stroke, 4-stroke uh, on the back of this really does make a big, big difference. So wide open throttle, 6,000 revs, uh, 14 litres per hour at 45 kilometres per hour. So does get up and go if you want to, that's with one person on board. It takes a little bit more to get it going once, a, once you've got two people on board, but still does very well. Um, best economy was at about four and a half thousand revs. Uh, we did 30 kilometres an hour um, using seven litres per hour. So the lean burn technology in the Suzuki's, as we all know, works very, very well. And the 40 on the cod catcher works very well as well. Um, I guess the thing with a boat of this style, there's a, there's a few things in my mind that you have to have. Um, it's most probably three things, to be honest. So, firstly, I think you need to be able to launch and retrieve yourself. It needs to be easy to tow, and, and this definitely ticks all of those boxes. You certainly don't need the four-wheel drive that we towed the boat with today. Um, I think a family sedan will get you out there, get you on the water, and you can either launch and retrieve it, drive on, drive off, like we did today, or it'll be very, very easy just to tie a rope, get it on, and you'd be out there fishing. Um, number two, stability while you're going and at rest, it really is needs to be a fishing platform. You want to be able to cast lures, you want to be able to make take advantage of that electric motor at the front. The stability at rest is very good. Um, it is a small boat, so you're going to expect a little bit of rocking, and certainly when I was using it to take photos of the other boat we tested today, there is a little bit of rocking, but certainly not enough that you'd feel uncomfortable. So. Again, ticks that box very well. I guess while you're underway, ride and handling, I do remember the last time we tested this boat is, the one thing you realise pretty quickly is when you took a corner fairly quickly, it's not on rails, but I don't think you expect that from this boat. As you'll see from some of the cutaways, there is not a lot gripping the, the water, so therefore it is gonna slide a little bit when you're taking some of those turns, particularly at speed. Um, it does handle very well. The 40 makes a bit of difference. That little bit of extra weight on the back of it certainly makes a difference as well. So again, I would turn around and say it ticks that box as well. Um, just covering off on the pricing and everything else, this is the special edition. So you're looking at about, with the motor guide and the Garmin electronics, etc., etc. it's about 30K or thereabouts. Um, you can get this boat as a plain boat. So a painted boat, um, I think I'm pretty sure I've got a cutaway of that you take the electronics off of it, you still have the 40 on the back and you're looking around 25k and then you can add the electronics that you prefer. So a great little boat, a great little sports fishing boat, Clark, cod catcher, very very good. The guys at Boats are more really good to deal with, they set their packages up really really well. If you want to get in touch with them, the best way to do it, the two stores, they've got a Chuka and Shepparton can jump on their website www.boatsandmore.com.au it has all the contact details it has all the information on the boats that are available through them plenty of boats from the Clark range and quite a few of the uh, the boat tests and those things that we've done in the past so there you go the Clark 410 cod catcher well worth a look <laughs>